Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'll show you how to install the Enigma Silvo build on Kodi 21.2 Omega. This method works on any Fire Stick, Google TV, Android device, PC, or even a tablet. We'll start by installing the Downloader app, then move step by step until the build is fully set up. If you want to skip straight to the Kodi build installation, just jump ahead to the timestamp I've marked on screen. All right, so the first step to this whole process is to head over to the Find icon, then press the center button on your remote to select it. Here it will open a keypad for you to type in the app name. We'll be looking for the app called Downloader. You don't need to type in the whole name, just the first few letters and the app will show in the result. Head down and select it. Okay, so this is the app we need. If you click on it once, it will take you to the page where you can download the app. From here, you'll need to click on the Get option or Download option, whichever it is to start the download process. As the app is downloading, I will ask you to hit the subscribe button. It will hardly take a second, guys. All right, our app is now installed. But now what I want you to do is leave the app as it is for now, because to be able to install apps through the Downloader app, we need to change a few settings on our Fire Stick. So I'll be pressing the Home button. Now we need to go all the way to the right, where you will find the Settings option. By selecting it, you'll get a drop-down menu. You'll need to select My Fire TV from the options. Here we will select the first option, which says About. There you go. It says here Fire Stick 4K Max, which is actually the Fire Stick model I'm using. But this process works on all the Fire Stick models, so you don't have to worry about that. What we need to do, and I want you to pay close attention here, is that we need to click on this option, Fire Stick 4K Max, seven times continuously. And I'm going to do that right now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And once you do that, this is the message that will be displayed on your screen. It says here, no need, you are already a developer. As soon as you see this message, that means you've done this step correctly. Now you'll need to press back just once, and you'll notice that a new setting has been added to the list developer options. This option appears after completing the previous step. So we need to now select developer options and then go to install unknown apps. Here is our downloader app and the permission has been turned off. What we'll do is turn this permission on so that downloader app can indeed install apps for us on our device. So let's turn that on now. So now all the settings have been implemented. Let's press the home button. And a lot of people have been asking me where do we find the newly installed apps on our Fire Stick. So for that you need to scroll to the right to this icon here beside the settings icon. This is a list of all your installed apps. Remember, all the newly installed apps always go to the bottom of this page, so head over down and there you go. There's our Downloader app. Select it. So the first time you launch the Downloader app, it will ask you to accept the necessary permissions that it needs to work properly. So I'll just press Allow and then OK. Here you can see a search bar. Uh, what you need to do is select it and then type this short code, 730116. This is a short code for my website's downloader page where I've compiled more than 200 apps in different categories altogether for your convenience. We need to find Cody from the list here, so scroll all the way down to the IPTV and Media Player category. There's the Cody app. To install it, you just need to click on it once and it will start downloading automatically. Once it ends, a pop-up will ask you to install the app. So just click on Install. And just like that, our Kodi app is now installed on our Fire Stick. Click Done, and now press Delete to remove the APK files. Don't worry, these are just installer files, and deleting them will not delete the app that we just downloaded. I want to emphasize here again that this tutorial will only work on the latest Kodi version, 21.2, and not the previous versions. So if you already have Kodi installed on your device, you'll need to check what version it is. Okay, so now press the home button and this time make sure to connect to your VPN as we are using a third party app here. So it's always better to stay protected. Um, if you don't have a VPN, then you can get one for a discount with my link provided in the description, which supports unlimited device connection. Now we will again need to go to the apps menu and launch the Kodi app, which will be all the way to the bottom of the list. There it is. I will press continue and allow all the required permissions.
Guys, welcome to Cody 21.2 Omega. Now I want you to know that this version of Cody doesn't have movies, live TV, sports, or anything, but if you will stick with me for a couple more minutes, I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step everything that we're going to need to do to make this a fully loaded Cody with all of the entertainment. So the first thing we need to do is select the gear icon on top here, and then we need to go to the settings option all the way to the right. Slide down to where it says add-ons, then go to the right half of the screen like this, and we're going to slide down and click where it says Unknown Sources. And finally, click Yes. That's all the settings we need to change here. Now press the Back button, and then scroll over to where it says File Manager. Here we need to add a source, so click the Center button one more time, and it's going to bring up a keypad for you to type in a URL. You need to enter this address exactly as it is shown. A lot of people comment later that the process doesn't work, and that's almost always because they've spelled something wrong in the address. I'll start typing the address now and you can follow along. Remember, after you type HTTPS, in order to write a colon, select the arrow here which will turn the semicolon into a colon. Now watch along as I enter the whole URL into the keypad. We will write teamenigma.xyz slash repo. Once you've entered the full address, double-check the spelling carefully and then go ahead and press OK. You'll notice it has already named this source repo for us, so once everything looks good, click OK. If for some reason this doesn't work for you, don't panic. Just go back and rewrite the URL again. Chances are you misspelled something. Once that's done, click the back button and then select the option that says add-ons. Scroll down and select install from zip file. Choose repo. And then from here, select Repository Enigma Wiz. Wait a couple of seconds and you'll see a pop-up saying the zip file has been installed. Now scroll up and select Install from Repository. From there, choose Enigma Repository. Scroll down and select Program Add-ons and then click on Enigma Wizard. Click Install and then finally click OK. If something feels too fast, pause the video and follow along carefully. As it's downloading, your screen may blink or flash a couple of times. This is completely normal. Once it's finished, you'll see a message saying, Add-on installed. Select OK to keep these items during the build installation. Give your system a moment and don't press any buttons. A big pop-up will appear. Just click the center button. Another pop-up will ask if you want to install a build. Slide over and click Yes. From here, you'll see a list of different builds available. You can install any of them, but for this tutorial, I'll install the Enigma Silvo version 8.8 .8 build. Select it, then slide over and click Continue. The downloading process will now begin. This may take a couple of minutes, so be patient. I'll fast forward through the process. Once the installation is complete, you'll see a pop-up asking you to force close Kodi. Select OK and the app will close automatically. Now, reopen Kodi again. This time it won't be the same plain Kodi you saw before. You'll now have the fully loaded Enigma Silvo build. If this video has helped you out, make sure to subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, and turn on the notification bell for more of the same amazing content. I'll see you in the next one soon.